I am here in front of Barney's silo because I am continuing the Easter quest that I missed while I was on vacation and sick with the flu. I'm still kind of sick, which is why I'm sans camera, because I would like to avoid any Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer jokes, because my nose is still red and hurts. I hope none of you come down with the flu, because it is not fun, and I wish it upon no one. <laughs> anyway, I have not played in a very long time. I jumped on Saturday, and I was able to meet a whole bunch of new people and add new people to the club, um, but my friends list is now full. So I started deleting people from my friends list who are in the club, but I'm at a point where adding friends is going to become a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, uh, we shall see. Um, as you can see I started doing some of the Easter stuff already. You can find golden eggs around Jorvik. This is only after you complete the first Easter quest though. There's an Easter egg hunt that's given by Felix in Silverglade. And once you complete that for him, he tells you all about the golden easter eggs. I learned this the hard way after searching for a long time for golden eggs and could not find any. <laughs> so I've gotten one of the hats so far and a shirt and the leg wraps, which is why I'm using Moon Diamond today because uh, Danger Nova can't wear leg wraps. Um, the Easter store also has a bunch of stuff, the yellow saddle and the yellow bridle, as well as this green saddle pad. There's also a green saddle and a green bridle. I don't know why there isn't a yellow saddle pad. Maybe I missed it. Who knows? Um, so I'm on a trek to get some more of the Easter stuff. Some of it I won't be able to get, such as the pants, which are in the dinosaur area, I believe. And I, can't, I just can't go there yet. So I'm going to get everything that I can. I'm here visiting Barney because he has a quest for us, an easter egg hunt. These easter egg hunts are different than the golden easter eggs. So you can hunt for little easter eggs around his silo and in the meantime we will also keep an eye out for um, the golden easter eggs. So here's one. Here's another one. Usually a thing will pop up that says you're in the vicinity of a golden egg which I have not seen yet, but I got a list online. Thank you to everyone online who shared where all the golden eggs are. Um, it is very much appreciated. So yeah, I wanna thank you guys for being so patient while I was away on vacation. I'm hoping to do a vacation vlog to tell you guys a little, about it, little bit about it and maybe show you some of the stuff I got. I got a bunch of comics and got a little Thor bobblehead that I'd love to show you guys if you're interested. I don't know. You tell me. Um, there are also new horses in Star Sable, which everyone is incredibly excited about. I'll have to show you guys. I went and checked them out. I really want one, but I'm a little disappointed because their necks are glitched out for people who, ha who are on Mac. Where is this last egg? One more, right? Their necks are glitched out, which you'll see when I show them to you guys. Um, and that kind of bums me out. I don't know if I want a horse that looks funky. You may have seen pictures online. How far away can- oh, there it is! Yes. That's pretty tricky, Barney. Pretty tricky. Look at that! You found them all! Here's your prize! Ooh, let's check it out! Uh, where were they? Oh! It's the saddle! Hooray! So, I won't be able to get everything. That seems to be typical of holiday events for me. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I should be able to get the Easter bridal. But I won't be able to get the Easter pad because that is in Golden Leaf Woods, Golden Leaves, which is in Golden Valley, up here. And I won't be able to get the Easter pants because that has to do with dino skeletons, Frozen Mist Valley, I think that's up here too. That is a red helmet which I will not be able to get, um, but I should be able to get the yellow helmet in North Link. So I will not be able to get one of the uh, the green helmet because that is in the Cape West fishing village. 
over here. And I cannot go up there yet. So, we're gonna get what we can get. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, here's one of the new horses. American Quarter Horse. Ooh. This is the black one. Oh, look at him. He does such fun stuff. Hey, little guy. Oh, we found another one. They're kind of short. <laughs> oh. He's so pretty. There are more than three million quarter horses in the world, making them the largest horse breed in the world by population. This hugely popular American horse gets its name from being incredibly fast over short distances. There are very few horses able to beat a quarter horse in races shorter than a quarter of a mile. The breed has its origins in the British warm bloods introduced to North America by the colonists and pilgrims in the 1600s. They were crossed with other breeds, such as the Chicksaw horses, as well as more classic breeds like the Arabian Full Blood. Oh, that explains the small stature. The Quarter Horse is a steady and balanced horse with a calm temperament, which is perfectly suited to hobby riding, competitive riding, and use as a workhorse. Quite simply, a fantastic all-rounder. <laughs> He's adorable. I think we just saved my favorite for last. Oh, perfect. Look, we're aimed right up. There's a new one. Oh. Twitched out. Aww. There he is! Hey, little guy. <laughs> Look at his teeth. <laughs> he looks kind of like a bunny. And little ears. I think this is my favorite one. I think if I were to get the American Quarter Horse, which I have been considering, um, this would be the one that I get. I think he's super pretty. Then I would just have to think about a name. Oh no! This is the glitch I was worried about. <laughs> On Max, he's doing a weird neck glitch. Oh no! His neck is messed up. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so let's head over to. Over here. I can show you guys. Uh, the Easter stall. I guess I don't know where it is. Here it is! <laughs> I bought pretty much everything. Some of the stuff was uh, priced incorrectly. And if you selected... There is no yellow saddle pad. That is so weird. If you selected um, your the star coins, it was zero. Price zero. So a lot of this stuff was free. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. Weird. Weird that they... Okay. Anyway, we're gonna get matching stuff. Anyway, so a big thank you to the people, the new people in the club, the riding club, for helping me find some golden eggs. This is the list of the riding club. Thank you guys. And, um... Oh, also, I will be starting that giveaway soon. I know a lot of you have been anxiously waiting for me to do the giveaway for the star coins. I got the uh, cardboard thingy in the mail. It was a lot bigger than, than I thought it was going to be. That has the code and stuff on it. So I'll be doing that. Um, the, it will be a, an entry thing through Rafflecopter. And the only thing you're going to need is an email address. And that is so I can email you the code. Um, Email, it's free, that's the best way to do it since I'll be advertising it through Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. You don't have to have any of those. Where am I going? I was gonna get, <laughs> I'm talking and just riding away. I'm gonna get in the little pink trailer and ride up to Veildale because it's pretty far. Dale. Okay, so we're on our way. I think it's another Easter egg hunt, but we will get the Easter bridal. And that's something. Hello? Who has the 
someone named Avalon? You are Claire. Oh, there they are. Hmm, interesting. Uh-oh, he doesn't have a quest for me. I don't think I've done enough quests to get him to do the egg hunt. That makes me sad. Oh man, I needed that Easter bridal, Avalon. Come on, man. I'm kind of bummed that the special holiday stuff- Oh, there goes my horse doing the tourney thing. I'm not even touching anything. There we go. That the special holiday stuff- I feel like everybody should be able to do those things. Not just people who are completely leveled up. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> okay, so I guess we're not getting the Easter bridal. I guess we'll go muck the stables. Do battery driven cows dream of electric sheep? Oh man. We've got cattle grazing freely in the forest with GPS transmitters attached to them. It looks like some of them have run out of batteries though. Do you think you could locate the cows and change the batteries in their devices? Here's back of fresh ones. No XP! I need to do some quests that require XP, my friend. That reward it, not require it. They say that the path to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur is still blocked by masses of snow. An archaeological expedition team led by Nick Stoneground was lost in the area sometime this winter, and we haven't heard from them since. Oh no! I hope it's not like the Donner Party. <clears throat> Could you go over there and see if the snow has melted away yet? Well, oh no XP! I need to get to ten! It's been so long. I just have been waiting and waiting to get to level 10. Uh. So it looks like there's only one Easter thing I can get left. Is this the way I wanted to go? No, I didn't think so. I want to go. Well, I want to get out of the water. <gasps> A star! Do you see? How am I supposed to get it if I can't go in the water? down. What? Okay. Oh. You guys, how am I supposed to get this star? Someone tell me. Do I just have to be quick? Jump! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Did I get it? Jump. Oops. Don't jump. Don't jump this time. Okay, ready? Go. Faster, though, it's gonna yell at you. Faster. Ah! Oh! I must have gotten it. I don't see it. Nope, I didn't. There it is. Hello? Hello? Walk on that thing, get on that thing. Ugh. Now I'm flying into the world. There we go. No, don't. Okay, all right. Fast, fast track back. Hooray! We found a star. Um, I think the stars are going to become more important this summer. Don't tell me I'm stuck now. Um, the stars don't actually have a purpose yet. They will, and I've been told that it's going to be a lot. There's going to be lots of exciting things coming this summer for the game, so I'm super stoked about that. I imagine summer is a big season for them since so many people are on. Uh, I'm already anticipating more lag issues and more things like that simply because there's going to be more people on. I think you guys should be prepared for that. I have not been, I have not played during summer. 
but that's that's my guess so far. No, the snow is not melted <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, yeah, there's gonna be more people. There might be more glitches and stuff. But they've been prepping. They've been updating servers and stuff. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Oh, it's still locked. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's go check them cows. Also, the name of that quest is based on a Philip K. Dick book called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And if you have not read Philip K. Dick, I highly encourage it. Oh, oops. So while I'm doing this, I can talk to you guys a little bit. Um, oh, there's one of the new horses. That is the lighter color one. You can kind of see where his neck is glitching, but it mostly happens when they're standing still. Oh, you can kind of see where her hand is on the bridle. Oh, there, you can see it really bad. Um, but they're supposed to leave really fast. They're like the fastest horses, horse in the, horses in the game now by far. So if you guys are into that, I highly recommend getting one of those horses. Um, oh, I was going to talk to you. A lot of people ask me about my star coins. I have almost 3,000. I got 3,000 when I got my lifetime membership. And I also get 100 each week for being a lifetime star rider. Or just a star rider. I think it's just star rider. And um, also, every once in a while, they give out redeem codes, which I find out through the Facebook group that I'm in. Um, I like to share them on, on my page too when I hear about them. Although I guess there was a new one, Easter SC 2015 or Easter 2015 SC or something, and it didn't work for me. So I'm not sure why, but it told me it wasn't valid with my account. I'm not sure what that meant. But yeah, so that's how I accumulate my star coins. I don't spend that many, as you guys know. Spending them is a big deal for me, and people ask how I save, and basically, I guess the easiest way is to kind of do what I'm doing where you set goals for yourself, such as I said I wasn't going to get another horse until I reached level 10, and I have not bought another horse. I plan to do it when I reach level 10, but that's kind of a way to keep me from spending too many star coins at once. I know a lot of people will go on and buy, get star coins, and then buy a whole bunch of horses at once. And for me, I'd much rather wait, because then I get the joy of getting a new horse three times instead of all at once. So I just like to set little goals and remind myself that I could have the excitement of getting a new horse and maybe some new clothes a few times over, as opposed to just one at one time. Besides, it's hard to level up three horses all at once, so I like to space it out a little bit. Great, I'm so glad I did that for no... Okay, I'm going to read a couple, um, maybe all the five mails. From Alma Eastwater, I am a huge fan of your channel. If you could add me, it would it would me the, be the world to me. Thank you. One Dizzy Penguin fan forever. Thank you, Alma. Um, let's see. Let's go on to the next one. Eden Gold Daughter. Hey, can we be friends? If we can, would we like to be a friend tag video please I think maybe it's another person with the last name Gold Daughter that I thought we were friends already um, but we definitely can I'm going to be planning another meetup soon so we can get that out of the way Sarah Darkwater hi just curious when do you do the Star Stable Let's Play videos also want to be your friend and join your club you're more than welcome to now that I'm back from vacation and feeling a little bit better. You can still tell from my voice that I'm not doing great. <laughs> um, I hope to plan another meetup soon. I wonder if I lost some mail while I was away, like it expired. Stephanie Swifthand, I would love to meet up and have a barbecue or a picnic sometime. That's a lot of fun. I did that once and the barbecue thing was pretty neat. I'm gonna have to do it again. I would love to have a barbecue with you, Stephanie. <laughs> 
All right, couple more. Sarah Diamondheart. Hey, big fan. It's me. I commented on your YouTube, and I'm really wanting to meet you. Tomorrow night, I won't be here. T I'll be on vacation. But when I get back, we can hang out sometime if you think it's okay. Thank you. Of course it's okay. That would be awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Hello to Kaylee Dark Camp. It was nice to meet you. I like her, your little pony. He's adorable. <laughs> and we can also say hello to Vandela Shadow Hill. That's a very fancy sounding name. And Regina Duskwater. 